hi. So today I'm making chicken roll-ups. I ain't gonna call it cordon bleu because we don't use Swiss cheese. It's ham and cheese, but it's regular American cheese because that's what we like. That's what my family likes. So I have a pound and a half of chicken cutlets, very thin. I have a third of regular ham. I have a third of American cheese. I have a few tablespoons, like three tablespoons of regular flour, and I just put a little salt and pepper, and that's it. So now I'm gonna show you what I do. So I take a chicken cutlet, I put it flat, I take a piece of the ham and I cut my ham in half because it fits better. I take two pieces of cheese, if I need more, I fit it. And then I roll it up like that. And then I stick a toothpick in the middle so it holds everything together. And then I just dip it in the flour. Like that and then I put it to the side, and then we repeat. Now you could even put the chicken cutlet in the flour first and then do a double dip in the flour. I do that too sometimes, it doesn't make a difference. So this is it, I'm showing you again. We roll it up like this, stick a toothpick in, and then I'll be back to show you the next step. So now I coated the bottom of my frying pan with a little vegetable oil and I'm just putting them in, in my chicken in and I'm just going to make it get a little brown and we'll be right back. Okay, so I have two tablespoons of butter in a small saucepan and I had one piece of ham left over so I touched chicken so I wouldn't eat it or else I would have just ate, eat, eaten it. So I'm going to put the ham in there and I'm gonna let that cook for a second. And then once that's cooking, I have, I'll tell you the rest of my ingredients. So we need about a cup of whole milk. I like to stick a dot of the better than bouillon uh, in there. So we need chicken broth, a cup of white wine, and a dot of Dijon mustard. That's what I add to the sauce to make it. Okay, so here, now that looks good because I don't want that brown. I'm gonna add in my milk. I'm gonna put like a half a teaspoon of that in there. I'm gonna add, I would say like a half of cup of the chicken broth. I always add the wine in last and we're gonna do like a dot of mustard. So I would say like a tablespoon of mustard. If you wanted a measure, that would, I would say about a tablespoon. And I'm gonna whisk it all together. I'm looking for my whisk. You could show them what the chicken looks like after we fried it. It's right behind you. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna throw some wine in here. And I throw these pieces of American cheese in here too. And it just gives it a nice, creamy, thick, pasty texture. And this is what my family likes. I just kind of created it on my own. And this is how we like it. This is what I do. And I'll show you, I'm gonna pour it over that and we're gonna stick it in the oven at 325 for I would say about 25 minutes. We'll be back. So I poured my sauce over my chicken and now I'm just mixing it around and I'm gonna stick it in the oven at 325 for like 20 minutes uncovered. We'll be back. Okay, so that's 25 minutes. Look at it. Get in there closer. See, it's bubbly, delicious, and see all the juice? I'm starving. Okay, I'm taking it out, and we're going to let it rest for a little bit, and then we'll be back to taste. Yummy. Yeah,